good afternoon guys welcome to and welcome back to the channel today we're doing like the og vlog style in the in the spirit of the quarantine and stuff like that i'm in my backyard just like it used to be with the sunglasses on and the cloudy day and the truck behind me today's video is going to be another tent video and it's one that I, I meant to do a long time ago and i never did it and we did them on the cat eye back when the cat eye had 20 percent and we compared 20 to 35 well the duramax has got five and then five over 20. now i've had a lot of questions about it in dms and i just answer them as i get them but i figure i might as well go ahead and do a video and since we have summertime coming up anyway if you're on the fence about tent or you just bought a new vehicle or you're finding this video deciding what percentage tent you want to go with hopefully this will help you out but that's going to be what today's video is going to be about so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all righty so this is my 2011 duramax and on the front we have got five percent tent and from the factory this truck came with 20 percent on the back well there is five laid over the 20 so the back is extremely dark you can't even if you put your face up to it you cannot see through it on the front i do have a five percent brow across the top so what i'm going to showcase is from inside perspective looking out from outside looking in i'll put a light behind the back side so you can see how dark it is we'll do the same to the back and hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea on just how dark it really is so now i'm gonna put you guys up against the glass and the camera should focus and you should be able to see in so if you were to put your eyes right up to the window with the sun shining through the windshield you should be able to see inside of the truck now i'm gonna do the same to the back here and you're gonna notice way way darker so that is your five over 20 versus your five up here now just driving by say you're a car passing by you cannot see anything inside of the truck so either or you're not going to see anything but say it's dark outside and you have your light on inside you might see just a little bit through that five but you're not going to see anything through that five over 20. so from the back side looking out you can see out pretty decent amount it's not too bad this is a good bit darker and the camera's not going to do a great job of adjusting so let me get inside of the truck and kind of show you guys how dark it is. So you can see it's a little bit dark in here, but it's not too, too bad. That is the 5% looking out. There's Cam, the editor here. He had to bring me a camera because I don't film anymore. But that is 5% looking out. It's not that bad in the daytime. And really, and I'm sure the camera may not do good justice. It's the 5 over 20. There's the 5. You can see it's a little bit darker, but it's kind of hard to tell during the daylight that there's that much of a difference and the same story on the back glass so in the daylight you're not going to have any problems and there's our five percent brow across the top so where this kind of becomes a problem is at night and especially at night in the rain uh at night really all you see out of the back window with that five over 20 is just the round circles of headlights you don't actually really see anything you can't tell whether it's a car truck suv what all you see is just the headlights now the side windows are not terrible of course it's black and you really you can't see too much out you can you can about see the mirror but that's about as far out as you can see now you know you open up the sunroof in here and that's going to change how you can see in and stuff like that and raise the light on the inside of the glass but for those of you who are considering five percent I don't think it's too too dark of course it's going to be plenty dark on the outside but from the inside looking out at nighttime may be a little bit sketchy depending on your vision but during the daytime it's perfectly fine especially for the time of year where you've got you know 12 hours of daylight plus you know you're not going to have a problem it's that it's the winter time for the places that only have ended up going down to like eight hours or less of daylight where that might get a little irritating now Let's go in the back of the truck and we'll sit there and talk about the five over 20. So now that we're sitting in the back of the truck where the five over 20 is, it's significantly darker. You can tell from just sitting front to back that it's gonna be way darker. Now, I'm not exactly sure I'm not a wizard on tint. I'm not sure what this would read if you were to put a meter on it being five over 20. My guess is you'd be somewhere in the one or 2% range where the front should read five. Cause you know, there's not, there's not a negative, you know, you can't, you know, there's not going to be a negative amount of light coming through, but you're going to be really close to zero. I mean, I would kind of put this in the limo tent category cause you really can't even look in, even if you got your head pressed against the glass. So in the back back here, if it's getting dusk or dark, 
you can't see out. The passengers that sit back here, you can't see out your window. If you got to see out the back window, you're going to have to look out of your, your, your side view mirrors or whatever when you're backing up. But you know what? In today's world of cars with backup cameras and parking sensors, it doesn't hardly even matter anymore because you can look at your backup camera or listen to your parking sensors or whatever else when you're backing up. So going this dark on the back of a newer vehicle, truck, SUV, or car, it's not even that big of a deal. So the last thing I want to do is I want to take a light and I'm going to have Cam sit in here and take my light and put it against the glass and kind of show you guys how much light can be seen through it. All right, so I have got Cam sitting inside of the truck and of course you can't see him in there but you can see a little bit of light coming through there. It's wild and it's it's not actually flashing, it's just the camera making it look like that. But that's about all you can see through it is those bulbs. And if you step back here, you can still kind of see the bulbs through it. Now I'm gonna get him to move to the back and show you how much light comes through on the back. So now I've got him sitting on the back and of course I'm sorry you can't see him, but that's about how much light you can see. And you can tell that that's noticeably dimmer than it was up there so that is you know trying to shine light through this side in of course shining the light from this side to the inside is how you would ever get your your measurement and stuff like that on how much percentage of light actually comes through it so i think i showcased pretty well about the five over the 20 hopefully that kind of i mean the sorry the five and then the five over 20 hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what it would look like uh, the brow, like I said, was 5%. That doesn't make a difference because you're not actually seeing through it. And if you guys think about putting 5 on your shield, I guess consider what I said about those side windows. You know, really at night, it's pretty bad. Uh, the darkest I would ever say to go is like 20 on the shield. I know there's a lot of people that go darker than that. And I guess that's all right if that's your preference. But I think as far as really being out and being safe, I think 20 is as dark as you'd ever want to go on the shield. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of an OG style vlog. We haven't done one of these in forever. And uh, glad that we got to get the Duramax in a video for once about uh, something that we've done on it. We don't do too much with it. It's just kind of the workhorse. But I appreciate you guys watching. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop any questions or comments you got down in the comment section below. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram at Austin04 underscore Z71. Take care. Have a great day.